Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at how we can animate a GG plot in R. The way that we are going to do it is by trying to replicate something similar to this, which is on the Gapminder site. It's quite a famous data visualization. If you jump on YouTube, there's a great TED talk by uh, Hans Rosling uh, talking through what's going on in this graph. And basically we've got income, we've got life expectancy, and it's animated so we can hit the play button and we can see it track through over time and the points are animated. They're also color coded so there's quite a lot going on and we can probably accelerate it along a little bit, hit play again and we can see the points moving along over time. So very powerful data visualization and certainly when you hear the interpretation of it, it makes a lot of sense, there's a lot that can be taken from it. We're going to be doing something similar to this in R, so let's jump over to R Studio. So I will link up this code to my website. You will be able to just copy and paste the code from there. We need ggplot2, gganimate, and gapminder, which has that gapminder data in it. If you don't have these packages already installed, go to packages, hit install, type in their names, and install them. So this has got a little bit of code here. I'm going to talk through what we've got uh, and then we'll have a look at the graph and then we'll have a look how to save an animated graph as a GIF or GIF, depending on how you like to pronounce that. So we start off, we're making this gap plot object and just starting with a normal GG plot. We're taking our gap minder data, our GDP, that's the income, we've got life expectancy, the size of the points are going to be the population. If we scroll along. The color is color coded by country. It's GM point, so scatter plot. Uh, we've got just a few other little adjustments here. Country colors, we've got just an adjustment on the scale. We're making it a log scale. Uh, you can imagine if we are looking at the incomes of all the countries in the world, there is a pretty clear skew there. So. The log scale just helps to keep everything kind of sensibly in the axes. And with this particular one, we're going to add a facet wrap as well. So the one that we saw uh, just a second ago, that just had all the countries on one axis. What we're going to do is we are going to split by continent so that each continent is animating in its own set of axes. It's just going to make things a little bit neater. So now the next bits of code, these are the bits that are going to do the animation for us. So the first thing we want is we want the year to be labeled. So we've got labs, just normal label, and you can see here we've got year and frame time there in the squiggly brackets. Uh, the rest is staying the same. So that's going to be just showing us visually ticking up the year. Transition time is what is actually doing this animation. There's a lot of things that uh, we can, if you go into GG Animate and have a look at the options, there's a lot of things that we can uh, control and adjust in terms of how quickly, uh, how long it takes, whether transitions speed up, slow down, what they do. But we're going pretty simple here. So transition time, yeah. And then this last line, the uh, aesthetics is just saying whether the uh, the rate at which we are animating and linear just means it's going to flick over at a consistent rate. Sometimes we might want our animations to speed up or slow down as they progress through. This one is just going to be consistent. So what we'll notice, we'll run this code uh, and it was actually pretty quick, just made the object. When we hit, when we have a look at it here, we notice that this is going to take a little bit longer. So it has to go through a rendering process to set itself up for this animation. We can see it's got a little timer here, it's counting down. I think that's enough seconds that I will just quickly hit pause. And then once the counter has counted down, it is going to produce our plot for us. We jump over to the viewer and here we have, we can see the title there. We can see that it is counting up and we can see all of those points animating just like what we saw in Gapminder. There's probably some other niceties we could do uh, like not having the scientific form on our 
axes here, uh, but just as a simple example of animating a ggplot, I think this is a really nice effective one. It's one we can compare back to that original gapminder, uh, and we can see that we've done the, uh, the faceted version, so not exactly the same, but gives us a good starting point for being able to have a really good play with how to animate. So we can use uh, anim underscore save and save this as a GIF. We just need to grab the object, tell it what we are uh, saving it as. And here we have the uh, GIF or GIF um, animating through over those years, following those points. Uh, so really nicely done. We can stick that into our web post or social media or wherever it is that we want to uh, stick it. Certainly for a period they were very, very popular on LinkedIn. Uh, nice way of being able to watch some sort of uh, pattern such as a time series, but rather than just reading it left to right, we're going to get some more variables on our axes and having the animation as that one additional time series variable where we see the movement of, uh, in this case, our countries moving around. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. The code will be linked up on my website. If you're not already a subscriber, hit subscribe, hit like on the video, and I will be back soon with more videos about R, statistics, research, and other random stuff.